you doing all? So today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to set up your Chromecast. And this is the new Chromecast um, that I did the unboxing for. So you can see it's the new version. Okay. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to look at the back of your TV, which is here. So let's see what do we have in here. Right. So we need a HDMI port on the back of our TV, which is somewhere right here. And then there's one on the side here as well, so you can use any of it. But for now, I'm just going to use the back of it, just in case sometimes some children come and try to pull it out, it will be harder for them to do so. Second of all, I would need a USB port, which I don't have in my uh, TV, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plug instead. So it's handy that way. Now, let's go ahead. So to do that, you'll be facing that way, and then plug it onto your TV. So as such. Okay, now I know this is upside down, but can't do anything about it, but that's how it goes. And then for the wire bit, as you can see, I got a micro HDMI um, port or I don't know, connection if you want to call it. So you just want to open it and then plug it onto the um, Chromecast itself. Okay, so now then, let's go ahead and do this. So we've got this, and let's see which way it goes. I think it goes that way. All right, so that's been plugged. Now, for the other bit, this bit goes onto the power socket. All right, okay, so here we go. We need to just plug that in, and then that's it. Basically, that's it. We'll be for the setup side of things. Now let's go ahead and set it up on the TV. All right, to set it up on the TV, you just turn on your TV, it will sometimes automatically come to this page. Um, but otherwise, if it doesn't, just press on the source button on your uh, remote control and then it should bring up the Chromecast uh, page. So this is currently uh, setting on the uh, HDMI port that we have uh, selected for our Chromecast. Now to set it up, you might want to use your phone so i've got my phone or i can use my um ipad if i want to okay so on the ipad side of things we should already have the google chromecast um, app installed on our ipad so you want to go here and then you want to go to the menu which is right here you want to click on to the devices gonna wait and wait okay now it says connect your uh, to your device in Wi-Fi settings uh, blah 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 tap the home screen to go to Wi-Fi blah 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 now <clears throat> if we go on to our settings yeah it's here the settings okay and then we shall go to Wi-Fi Now this should give us that option. Okay, so that's connected. Now let's go back to the app, which is here. Now you see the page has just suddenly changed. It says Chromecast found. Your Chromecast temporary name is Chromecast 6196. Okay, fine. And then we go continue. Then this page should come up. Okay. It says, do you see that V4, H4 on your TV? Let's see if we can see that on the TV. So if we turn to the TV. Um, yeah, it looks like we can see it right here. So that's fine. Now let's go ahead and say, I see the code. I'm just going to make it a little bit clearer. Say, I see the code. And then on the next page, it's telling us which region are you. So it's already selected United Kingdom. And then we want to say continue. Now in here, in this page, it's telling us if we want to um, change the name of the Chromecast. But for now, I will just leave it as that. You can enable the um, data usage. So whatever you're doing in the report or any errors that come up. So Google would like to send the uh, reports to them time by time. And then if you want, you can unselect it or you can uh, leave it there. I'd like to just keep everything as okay, fine. Um, and then you want to press. If you want to change the name, 
you just tap there and then obviously using the keyboard change the name whatever you want to set it to so just want to keep it as that and then what you want to do is you want to say continue um now it's asking us to select a wi-fi so let's see our wi-fi is called i think it's called that and now we need the password for it so i'm going to go ahead and enter the password and then come back so now that i've entered the password i want to say continue uh just in case you don't know where to get the password from it will be on your internet router um at the back where it says the username and then underneath will be the password so you want to again say continue now it's just setting it up and um, i'll show you on the tv it's also setting it up so it's trying to connect and let's see it's trying to connect We'll wait for it to see how long it takes to connect um sometimes it does take a little while before it connects so you just need to be patient all right it says it can't connect to the network for some reason i don't know why but it's telling me that the wi-fi password might not be um right so i'm gonna go ahead and double check that all right okay so that has now been set up uh i just posted it there because there was a video that came up from chromecast itself show you guys on how to cast it on your phone um so you can see whatever's on your phone on the tv uh, but of course i couldn't leave that for uh, copyright reasons if it was copyrighted uh, but now it's just saying that it's updating so until this gets to 100 percent it will be sitting in there and um, after that's finished then it's all set uh and yeah, I'll, I'll also show you on how to, uh, for example, uh, on YouTube, when you go on there, what options you need to select to be able to cast whatever's on your phone mm, onto the TV. So we're just waiting there for this to finish to 100%. Alright, so right now it's on 74% and uh, shouldn't be long before we get to 100 Alright then, now that it says it's ready to cast, I'm going to just show you guys. It says ready to cast. Sorry about the lighting, it's just the daylight, can't do anything about it. Now you can see in here that it shows this icon in here. Now, when you go to any sort of video platform, it will have that icon there for you guys to click and be able to view anything on your TV. Now, <clears throat> I've got my iPad again here, uh, and I want to show you on what you could do. So if you go to the app, um, oh see that's me. And then I just want to go to home. Or maybe I can go to my own page and try to play any video. For example, if I play that video on, you see this button is there. I'm just going to close this. You see that on the top, you can see this button in here. That one. You want to click on there. You want to click on it. And at the bottom it's saying it's casting to the TV. So now, you can see on the TV that the same video is coming. Alright, so that's it then, basically, for the casting side of it. If you need to know anything more than this, then obviously comment below. And then I shall be good to answer you back as soon as I see the comments. Alright then, I hope that was useful and helped you guys um, how to set up your Chromecast. There are a lot of people who don't know what a Chromecast is, um, but this is a device that's useful for people who don't have a smart TV. This device basically makes their um, TV smart. It allows them to uh, cast anything from their phone, iPad, um, I don't know, uh, to, to their TV. So whatever's playing on there, um, you can see it on the TV. And yeah, the good thing about it is with the Android, with, with like for example, I've got the Galaxy S6, you can also mirror your screen by that what I mean is whatever you're doing on your phone, for example, even if you're sliding through your um, pages or sliding through anything, you can basically put it on the screen and that will just uh, show everyone um, what you're doing on your phone. Just in case you wanted, if you wanted to show your friends and family like pictures or any videos that you have saved on your phone. Um, but unfortunately for the uh, Android, uh, no, for the, for the um, Apple uh, platform, that's not the case. You can just cast videos from YouTube or any other app. Um, 
I'm still hoping for them to bring out that option on the um, Apple side as well, I still side. But let's see how long it's going to be before they do that anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's it then. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more. If you need to know anything about any new technology, obviously comment below. Then I'll try to bring it up and show you guys what to do. Thank you. Bye.